I have shared with you guys multiple ways you can beat this boss. But I bet I have not shared with you beating this boss without using Girl of Steel and also without using solo raid specific artifact. You can see my John Stewart Green Lantern has no artifact on him. Uh, Robin King has the Zatanna's Puppet and my Batwoman the Drowned has God Killer artifact. So these artifacts will not give me any additional attack or any additional health in this match. Which will mean of course I will have to play carefully, I have to play smart and I'm going to one shot this boss. So the reason why it is possible or even then I would even dare say easy to one shot this boss without using a solo raid specific artifact. Ignore my bad gameplay here, the game was actually skipping. You guys know how I rolled so yeah, that's what was happening there. Anyways. I'm still going to be able to do a lot of damage because this boss does a huge, guys, really huge amount of damage. And I've been singing this, I've been singing this from the top of the mountain. If a boss does a huge amount of damage, like this boss, like boss uh, Black Adam, any any boss that you fight, any solo raid that does a huge amount of damage, the number one artifact you want to use, especially if you are using the metal team, is the God Killer artifact. So the, because this boss does a lot of damage i'm going to just steal those attack and those attack will now be my additional damage and you can see the amount of dot i'm doing i'm doing over 30 million in dot without any additional uh, solo raid artifacts which is truly truly amazing and this match will be over in less than two minutes once again no additional solo raid artifact then you may say bro what about madness what do, how do you not deal with madness well john stewart green lantern is able to take care of madness for you i didn't even know this before so shout out to everybody that commented on my girl of steel video i think even john stewart green lantern is way easier to use so, than using girl of steel in this match so you can save your girl of steel for your league of anarchy team to use on a different fight for this fight you just need to use the standard metal team you don't even need to use an additional uh, uh solo red artifact just use god killer on batuma the drowned and use zatanna's puppet on robin king and guys you are set less than two minutes this match is over so you have no excuse to say oh yeah uh, this is not free to play or this is as free to play as it gets if you want to see the other teams that do very well with that solo red artifacts you can check yesterday's video i did a showcase of that as well this is just one of those teams i showcased and you can see how well this team did there and like i said uh, I did mention that uh, you can see I'm using Crown of Candle Cooler on Beast Boy. Crown of Candle Cooler would be the choice if you are fighting Tier 1 and Tier 2, maybe some parts of Tier 3. Basically, if you are fighting any boss with Metal Team and that boss doesn't do a lot of damage, God Killer is not going to do as much damage for you. God Killer is convenient if you have extra attack. But if you don't have extra attack and you are fighting a boss that doesn't do much damage, God Killer is really not the best. You want to use the crown of candle cooler like the one you see i'm using on beast boy in this match so you guys know the easiest and the most straightforward way to use beast boy is to use zatanna's puppet on him that's a given if you have zatanna's puppet use zatanna's puppet on beast boy that's the way to go about it but but you may be in a situation where your crown of candle cooler is quite leveled up or you don't have zatanna's puppet or your zatanna's puppet is really weak so you can't really do your infinite special so yes i will actually understand that in that case you would want to use crown of kandak ruler so there are many ways you can use crown of kandak ruler i'm sure you have seen a lot of gameplay videos you could use beast boy with a power reduction character like dr fate or power girl and maybe put black manta oh, no 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 you no don't use black manta you can now use a classic wonder woman or vixen yes as your other option so you have a power reduction character you have vixen or classic wonder woman then you have beast boy so you could use that setup that's i've seen people use that setup or if you are not confident in your ci you could use something like um the silver green lantern so that you can do infinite combo without having to actually do if, uh, ci uh, sorry to say yeah basically without having to do proper ci so you could do that Use Silver Green Lantern, Beast Boy, and a power reduction character, or and Classic Wonder Woman. Either ways, that could work for you. But I said I've seen those before. That's why I decided to see how good is Beast Boy with this setup. So you can see I, did, I wasted the first one minute plus trying to do the normal CI. I wasn't able to get it to work. Like I said, just, it's not because it's impossible. It's very much possible. This character is easy to do CI against. But yeah, it's easy when you have a good device and good connections. Very very easy. In fact, there are a lot of bosses in this game. 
very easy to do CI with a good device and good connection. I feel like I've said this a billion times. But when you don't have those, I know there are a lot of you that don't have those, so you don't have to feel ashamed or anything. It's not your fault that your device is bad. It's what you can afford you that you will get. You're not going to rob the bank to get a good device to play in Justice 2 Mobile. Anyways, you can see what I decided to do. Since my, I know that my connection will always fluctuate, I decided to do 2 hit CI. And 2 hit CI generally is still better when, when you are trying to do CI and it's not coming through. Sometimes 2 hit CI works. And 2 hit CI works for this particular scenario. So yes, this is also something you can try. I did 2 hit CI use kind of counter cooler and yes i was able to one shot with just one additional solo raid uh, specific artifact yeah so even if yours is not maxed out like mine if it's high enough i think you can still one shot this boss and you like i said i wasted the first one minute plus trying to do the normal ci and it wasn't working for me so for you if you can just see i right from the beginning you don't need to even get to this point you one shot this boss and you don't even need to have a maxed out support artifact so that would work Anyways, that was why I showcased that video just to see how that team works. And it's quite nice, but of course, I don't. That team made me work too much. For my device, it is not ideal. For most of your devices, if you are being honest with yourself, it is not ideal to use that. So you are better off using Zatanna's Puppet if you have it. Only if you don't have ZP, that's when you would want to switch to Crown of Kanda Cola. So finally, this particular match, I'm going back to the default setting of using Zatanna's Puppet, but something is different in this match. What is different is that for this match, the boss is supposed to take less dot damage. So I was like, hmm, that's quite interesting. They've said that this boss is going to take less dot. So how much less dot is this boss going to take? Well, I was quite surprised that I used Beast Boy on this match or against this boss. And I've still found myself doing a huge amount of dot damage. So how much dot is this boss really reducing? Because I was actually scared to use like League of Anarchy or something like that. Because I was like, this boss will reduce dot and it may not be good. So let me just try Beast Boy and see what I can do. And lo and behold, this uh, I was able to do a huge amount of dots against the boss. You're able to see how my dot is going to keep scaling up, especially after, of course, the normal uh, routes to follow. You do your super move, you do 40 hits, and you spam your social 3, you do a lot of damage. But yeah, I was really surprised. I was doing, look at my dot scaling up. Uh, I think I got even up to, yeah, I'm doing 40 something million dots now. Just imagine, and I've not even gotten to my full 40 hits attack. Yeah, I, I never even got to my full 40 hits. I think I just used 31 hits. I see how much dot my dots keeps going up, it keeps scaling up. So, <laughs> up to 60 million at dot. So, yeah, it's crazy. But, yeah, this this uh, bosses, even the ones that reduce your dot, this boy is still going to be able to destroy them. If, if you enjoy my video, smash the subscribe button. And I will see you guys on the next one.